an interesting part that the senior engineer mentioned that we were not expected to actually do any database layer integration any network or api integration nothing so how exactly machine coding round uh, coding implementation is expected is that they will give you some kind of a real life problem maybe hospital management system or a library management system or let's say some book my show kind of like a thing we were allowed to use any language altogether we were allowed to use our own local code editor apart from that we were not expected to code any ui we were not expected to integrate any database or apis right and the biggest requirement was that the code should be runnable we should not be in a situation where we have just classes but nothing works it should be a demonstrable code the functionality of the code algorithmically should be correct so hello everyone i am sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys this video is going to be special last year i actually appeared for software engineering two roles at flipkart and i was able to clear all of them as well in this particular video i'm going to talk in detail about what was the exact structure of the low level system design machine coding round what was the exact problem statement that was asked to me what were the exact set of requirements what was the overall format like what was the approach that i more or less took for the solution building and then in the discussion part how exactly things went ahead this is going to be a full guide in case you are looking for how exactly machine coding rounds are held in product based companies because flipkart keeps it kind of like very balanced when it comes to the overall interview scenarios they do not have like only dsa or only system design kind of round they have kind of like a good balance so this uh, this will give you a fair idea if you are going to appear for a machine coding round in flipkart or maybe in some other similar companies then what is the expectation they are going to be at so without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead so let's just start so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so let's first of all talk about the overall format of the interview so the format of the interview was like there was a group of people who were having the same machine coding round at the same day so it was not like just a single person was scheduled for the round so there were approximately 30 40 odd people who were scheduled for the same day we were brought on a google meet call and then there was a senior engineer from flipkart who actually explained us the whole process so the process was like we were given one and a half hours that is 90 minutes to code a working solution of a problem statement after those 90 minutes there were dedicated slots for each and every single individual where there was a discussion that was uh, expected to happen for the implementation that you have technically done in these 90 minutes we were expected to code a working solution in any of the object oriented programming language that we probably like like ruby c++ python java whatever we uh, want to go for we were actually open to uh, move ahead with that 
an interesting part that the senior engineer mentioned that we were not expected to actually do any database layer integration, any network or API integration, nothing. We were actually expected to just focus on the service layer. That is, we were only expected to focus on the business logic part. And we were expected to make a console application where the input and output can be given and are taken from the console of your terminal, right? So this was the bare minimum expectation. They mentioned that uh, post 90 minutes, uh, like they will not be able to take any solutions because we were expected to just zip the solution and submit on a Google form, which was expected to be filled within five minutes at the end of the 90 minutes altogether. And post that uh, discussion is about uh, is expected to happen, which can go from 15 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on how is the discussion going on. So this was the overall format. And once he explained the overall format, they gave us a Google Doc where the whole problem statement of the machine coding round was actually given. So how exactly machine coding round uh, coding implementation is expected is that they will give you some kind of real life problem, maybe a hospital management system or a library management system, or let's say some book my show kind of like a thing, right? And you are expected to code the service layer part. When I say service layer, what is service layer? A lot of people who is watching the video like might be thinking what's the service layer. So service layer is the layer where you actually write your business logic. So if you have ever heard about the MVC architecture, in the MVC architecture, the controller part is where the actual requests are collected. Once the request is collected, controller forward the request to the service layer where all the business logic happens. In case any database interactions is required, then the service layer talks to the repository layer. So we were expected to focus on the service layer and we can just make a dummy repository layer if we, if we wanted to have. Right. So this was the overall format. And now I'm going to talk about what was the problem statement and how exactly I approached it. So for my round, the problem statement uh, was a hospital management system. They called it as the project Flimped. Right. So what the system was about to be like, so there were two main entities of the system. One was a doctor, one was a patient. So there were some basic set of requirements and then some bonus requirement. We were expected to make sure that all the basic requirements are working exactly correctly. And if we have some time left in the in those 90 minutes, then we can also implement some bonus requirement. So what were the basic set of requirements? So the basic set of requirement was that the doctor should be able to sign up to the platform or I would say register to the platform and they can also tell their speciality. Apart from that, they can also tell the available slots. So what is a slot? Slot is an appointment slot, which is a 60 minute slot from 9 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. in the evening, right? So doctors can tell their available slots, right? And we are expected to also register their available slots. Apart from that, the patients should be able to also register and the patient should be able to search for the available slots based on the speciality of the doctor because doctor can also add their speciality. So they should be able to search for the available set of slots based on the speciality. For example, if somebody wants to go to, let's say a cardiologist, so they should be able to see uh, all the available slots of all the available doctors of who, whosoever is having a speciality of cardiologist, right? Apart from that, the patients should be able to book an appointment to the doctor. And once a patient has booked a particular slot of a particular doctor, then that slot is blocked. No other patient can book the same slot altogether, right? Apart from that, a patient cannot book the same time slot with two doctors, right? So let's say if you are a patient and you booked a slot for 10 a.m. to uh, let's say 11 a.m. with doctor one, then you cannot book another slot with another doctor in the same time frame that is 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. And apart from that, all the patients and the doctor should be able to list down all the next set of appointments that they are going to have and the previous set of one. So like a list of all the appointments that they are about to have or they are ex already having. These were the basic set of requirements. So we were expected to code all of these requirements and the major focus of the round was to make sure that all the object oriented implementations that we are going to have is as clean as possible. They were not expecting that we just write one very big file and put all of the code, very messy code there. They were expecting us to follow all the possible solid principles and make sure that, that the code is as clean as possible and as maintainable as possible. Apart from the basic set of requirements, there were some bonus requirements that the patients can cancel an appointment as well, in which in, in the case, the slot of the doctor will become available to book again, right? Apart from that, there was a concept of ranking strategy. So every doctor can have some rating based on which you can rank the doctors, right? So there, uh, if the patients want, they can also list the doctors based on their ranks or they can list the doctors based on their speciality. So, Ranking was also a strategy and speciality was also a strategy, right? And then whenever you are going to list the slots, all these slots can be listed in terms of the 
ranked fashion whatever is the ranking that you are looking at okay apart from that there was one more ranking strategy that that was the start time of the first available slot that which whatever doctor is having the first available slot available that can also be one ranking strategy that the users can kick so it was like you have different different types of sorting available uh, to look at the appointments one was uh, let's say speciality one was the uh, rating of the doctor one was the first available time slot altogether so these were the corresponding set of ranking strategies available and we were expected to implement these strategies and whatever user wants they can choose that strategy and then list down all the corresponding available slots right so these were the bonus set of requirements that we were having so this was the overall i would say problem statement basic requirement and bonus requirement we were allowed to use any language altogether we were allowed to use our own local code editor so what happened when the problem statement was explained every single individual candidate was moved to a different individual meet call where one flipkart uh, i would say engineer was there to monitor us in case we have any questions or we they asked us to share the screen and code along as it is all together there apart from that we were not expected to code any ui we were not expected to integrate any database or apis right and the biggest requirement was that the code should be runnable we should not be in a situation where we have just glasses but nothing works it should be a demonstrable code the functionality of the code algorithmically should be correct the code should be modular and readable right separation of concern and all the solid principle should be there proper error handling should be done and the code should be easily testable apart from that they also gave us some sample input test case and output ca uh, test cases as well so that we can test our implementation all together so this was the overall problem statement right i hope you got the problem statement if not then i would ask uh, like recommend you to just pause yourself here and just seek back a bit and read the problem statement again you can find similar problem statements about the machine coding rounds of flipkart on lead code articles as well right they generally do not repeat the problem statements a lot but uh, you will get a fair idea on what to expect at what point of time now the part where how i approach the problem so first of all the language that i picked was java right so i like when i was interviewing i i spent a good amount of time with java so i was pretty much comfortable with that so the first thing that i did was the was to make sure that i list down all the possible entities right that okay there will be doctors there will be patients now both doctors and patients are going to be users because there will be some common entities all together so i had a user entity right then apart from that what all major classes we can have so there was like slots that a user uh, that a doctor can have a lot of available slot more than and one slot will belong to a doctor right and there was a through um, i would say a through class or a, like if you think with respect to a database implementation a through table that is appointment that a doctor has many patient through appointments and a patient belongs to many doctors through appointments right so first this was the kind of like the first thing and there were a few more classes so i first down listed down all the entities that i wanted to code then i just started coding it uh, i just started coding all the entities all together one by one and make sure that uh, all the relevant properties are there i didn't want to spend a lot of time thinking about okay what extra properties a patient can have whatever were the basic set of requirements i just try to follow that post that i thought about okay how can i make the code as clean as possible so i made sure that uh, wherever required for example uh, there was a use case of having a factory design pattern because uh, once all the entities are in place and we want to create the objects of all the entities i didn't want to add them in the like the direct driver class or let's say at any point of time whenever we create a doctor and doctor adds an appointment so we didn't want to just create the instances in the doctor class altogether so we created a separate appointment factory which was expected to actually create a lot of slots all together so wherever uh, any kind of object creation was required i added factories there for each individual set of classes that was a patient that was a doctor i made sure that there is a builder implementation that is being written so that we can create the uh, i would say entities of the patients and the doctor far more easily rather than just calling the constructor so i also made sure that we integrated the uh, corresponding builder design pattern apart from this i made sure that all the corresponding solid principles are actually intact wherever required i made the corresponding interfaces so that we do not have any issues of dependency inversions right and i also made sure that i manage my time well because i was able to code most of the basic requirements in like the first one hour and i kept the remaining 30 minutes for the bonus requirement so for the bonus requirement it was a pretty straight forward requirement because we were expected to implement strategy uh, for ranking the slots right so it was a direct implementation of the strategy pattern right so which which i already learned about so i was able to directly code the strategy pattern i was not able to like uh, put uh, all the corresponding strategy but i was able to implement two strategy uh, implementations and then i conveyed to my interviewer that okay this the third one can be implemented in a similar way and i also added some demonstrable code in the driver file and i also made sure that i test 
the code with various cases because that was the main requirement before the bonus requirement goes and this is like how i approached and i would recommend you also to approach it in a similar way that first of all li uh, list down all the entities see how the entities are linked make sure that you write the entity class first and then you can start the implementation and once you are implementing you will realize a lot of things that okay wherever you need a factory wherever you need let's say uh, an implementation class for uh, creating some appointments whatever whatever you want to do like once you start the implementation having all the entities listed things become super easy for you so i hope you got the overall approach that i had for the problem statement altogether now once i was done with the overall implementation and uploaded to the form i my interview was scheduled like one hour after that so uh, my discussion went for 45 minutes in those 45 minutes they asked me a lot of questions around uh, a lot of oops principles they asked me a lot of questions around solid principle they asked me a couple of questions around why i went through a particular approach only why i like let's say made a particular type of an interface why i didn't go for an inheritance based approach instead of composition or vice versa like they were asking a lot of questions about the implementation that i exactly it did and i wanted to and wanted to see that whether i am able to tell the trade offs corresponding to that or not right because there were some trade offs available so i i was able to list all of them they also asked me a couple of questions around the strategy pattern implementation about the bonus requirement uh, they also thoroughly tested my code whether the things are working fine there was one case on which my code was like not like properly working there was like 80% of the cases working there was a one corner case that i missed but overall it was working fine on most of the test cases and this discussion overall happened for like 45 minutes because i was expected to answer a lot of definitions and everything as well and they asked me for a couple of use cases where i might have let's say used a builder pattern on scene builder pattern being used all together so some real life use cases where i have worked with similar design patterns or similar design implementation in my day to day work on my in my previous companies so they asked me these kind of questions and i believe the overall round went pretty smoothly and at the last i was able to clear this round as well so like this was the overall uh, machine coding round i hope you got a better clarity on how exactly to approach a machine coding round and what is the expectation in machine coding round as well then don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any question whatsoever like feel free to just put that in the comment section below we would be like really happy to answer all of them that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care guys bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off